right, so let's go ahead and get started with the lesson one video notes. Yours should say 3-5 at the top. If yours says anything else, like 4-5, then you need to switch and go to a different video. This video is for the lesson one video notes for lesson 3.5. <clears throat> Number one, <coughs> sorry about that. A beaker is considered full when the liquid reaches the fill line shown near the top. So here's our fill line. Estimate the amount of water in the beaker by shading the drawing as indicated. The first one is done for you. So here they've colored in about half, what they believe to be about halfway between the bottom and this top, which is the fill line. So now we're going to estimate what we think about a fourth is. So I know if this is about a half, I'm going to say that a fourth is going to be about right here. And then I'm going to shade that in. Okay. And then this one is, I'm dividing it into thirds. So I'm going to say it's going to take about, how many, what size pieces to go? One, two, up to the third. I'm going to say probably somewhere around here. And I'm going to shade those in as well. Okay. So Juanita cut her string cheese into equal pieces as shown in the rectangles below. So we're going to say these are all her pieces of string cheese, different days and different ways that she cut them. In the blanks below, name the fraction of the string cheese represented by the shaded part. So what this shaded in part, this colored in part, is what part of this whole entire piece of cheese? Well, to start with, we can think about how many are colored in. And in this case, there's one rectangular piece colored in. That's going to be our numerator. That's the number of parts. Out of how many parts in all? Well, there are one, two, three sections. So that means one out of three or one third of this piece of string cheese is colored in. Let's do the same with this one. Here we have one piece that's colored in out of how many pieces in all. You still count the shaded one again because that's one of the pieces that out of the and all. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here we have one sixth or one out of six pieces is colored in. For the last one, we have one piece that's colored in out of how many pieces is this whole cheese stick divided into? One, two, three, four. So that means for this example, one fourth of the cheese stick is colored in. Let's go ahead and take a look on the back. It says, in the space below, draw a small rectangle. Estimate to split it into two equal parts. How many lines did you draw to make two equal parts? And what is the name of each fractional part? <clears throat> or excuse me, each fractional unit. So step one is to draw a small rectangle. Okay, so I did that part. Estimate to split it into two equal parts. Well, I'm going to say about right here. We'll cut it into two parts. I tried to make them as equal as I could. We don't have to measure for these. How many lines did we draw to make that? How many cuts did I have to make? It's kind of weird. I make one cut to get two equal parts. So I made one line to get two equal parts. And then it says, what is the name of each fractional unit? So if I only want to know what part one of these is, it's just like our cheese stick on the front. I have one out of how many in all? One out of two. So this fractional part is one half. This fractional part is one half. Let's take a look at the next set of directions. Draw another small rectangle. Okay, I'll do that first. Estimate to split it into three equal parts. Hmm, I need to make it into three parts. Okay. How many lines did I draw to make it into three equal parts? It's kind of weird. To make it into three parts, I had to draw one, two lines. So I drew two lines to cut it into three parts. 
what is the name of each fractional unit? Well, if I want one part of it, that's one piece out of how many in all do we divide it into? How many parts? One, two, three. So that's one third, one third, and one third. And all together they make one whole. The last one, draw another small rectangle. Estimate to split it into four equal parts. So I need four parts. So I'm going to divide it into half and then divide each of those halves into halves. So I have one, two, three lines because it says how many lines did you draw to make four equal parts? I did one, two, three lines to make four equal parts. And what is the name of each fractional unit? If I want to know how much each one of these squares is worth out of this whole rectangle, it is one out of how many equal parts? One, two, three, four. Okay. Question four. Each rectangle represents one sheet of paper. Estimate to show how you would cut the paper into fractional units as indicated below. If we want it into sevenths, how many lines do you think we're going to have to use to cut? If this were a cake and we wanted it to share it with seven people, how many cuts would we have to make? Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I drew six cuts, and how many pieces does that give me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So each of these pieces, one piece, would be one seventh, but I drew six lines to make it. Let's take a look at this one for ninths. How many lines do you think we'll have to draw? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I made eight lines, but how many pieces does that give me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So each part is one out of nine or one ninth, but I made eight cuts. Here's a thinking question. What do you notice? How many lines do you think you would draw to make a rectangle with 20 equal parts? Think about all the lines that we drew so far in our rectangles to make the equal parts. How many lines do you think we would have to draw in order to make a rectangle divided into 20 equal parts? Notice each of these to divide it is one less cut. One, you draw one less line than how many pieces you need. So for example, we needed two parts, you draw one line. You need three parts, you draw two lines. If you need four parts, you draw three lines. If you wanted seven parts, I drew six lines. Nine parts, I needed eight lines. So for 20 parts, I would actually do 19 lines. It's one less, okay? And for number five, I know you're gonna be sad, but you do not need to do number five, okay? Now it's your turn with your team to do your lesson one practice. Notice these look very similar to what we did before. One difference is now we have some circles representing pies to divide up, but other than that, it's exactly the same. And you're going to do the back part too. Okay. You do not have to do number eight. You also do not have to do number three. Okay. So once your team is finished with those, you can check with the Bob answers. Once you're feeling good about those, then your team will go ahead and complete your exit ticket which is questions one and two only, not number three. And here's where it says exit ticket at the top.